Hello and welcome to Tech of the Day. Today we are going to talk about GPT-3. Very interesting topic and uh, very much, actually too much buzz about it. And uh, I also heard uh, many things, people saying that um, uh, it will take, off, take over developers job, blah, blah, blah. A lot of things, a lot of things were said. And um, this is something really interesting. I am really interested in uh, in this topic actually, in this uh, especially in this development in the field of AI, because uh, since like many years, uh, almost uh, eight or ten years, machine learning and uh, AI are really big buzzword words. But I don't really see much development in that field. Like people say, we can do this, we can do this. Yes, that's good. But if we see it as productivity wise, let's say what we gain from it is really less. But um, I cannot say uh, it did not um, uh, benefit um, companies or people till now because many companies are using data and uh, they are doing some analytics over it and that's really beneficial for them. But that's uh, not AI or machine learning that's more of uh, uh, analysis which we already had so I, I'm really still uh, still hoping for best to come but GPT-3 is uh, the first step in that direction there are ma many things people are saying about GPT-3 but um, I don't uh, agree with all of that if you go over Twitter you will see a lot of people are talking about um, things uh, with the GPT-3 what you can do blah 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 so many things are being said you know but before this let's talk about what is GPT-3 because uh, this is more important so GPT-3 is general purpose text in text out model which is trained over many many models and that means um, you can really, really uh, um, get some interesting, uh, interesting outputs if you just uh, do some general purpose tasks with it. So let's say if you are looking for uh, something on, on Google and Google gives you like 10 pages and then you, go, you have to read all those 10 pages and then find out what... Uh, what is the relevant answer for you of course it gives you many many other possibilities to go and read the topic but sometimes you just want the answer and google doesn't give you answer let's say um if you're looking for uh, who killed mahatma gandhi you will have uh, still like uh, 10 pages but uh, the answer is simple right naturam gorse so answer is really simple sometimes and uh, we don't get that answer so gpt gpt3 can do that so and it's also trained over millions of uh, problems so it can really do wonders um, but still i i don't support support that argument which says it will take over the developer's job okay let's look uh, look into some examples what it has done what it can do so this is, i'm on the open openai.com uh, website where they have uh, this uh, gpt3 uh, model which you see here there is a guy um, who did some um, some some interesting things with excel and this is really interesting you see boom So a lot of things can be done. You see, if you just read the Wikipedia and you can get some uh, output of it. Um, let's say what what folder I am in, run feed password, yes, no, switch to prod, cube context. So you are writing a simple, simple um, language, general language which you use and then, um, then you can just uh, do whatever you want but uh, 
still this is trained on something so what i want to say is um let's let's test it in real so let's go and uh, let's say text generation and uh, see cached response so you have this uh, this text and you fed this to open ai and this is the output of this uh, this whole text the road to road to making ai safe and useful is long and challenging but with the support of developer community we expect to get there much faster than working alone and that's the truth actually i support this <laughs> but um but you see the the this the main main heading main uh, sentence or message from this uh, text we got uh, using the open ai i i like it um, but when you say you have these question answers right you see you have these question answers and uh, then you can uh, get the answers out of these things so what years was the first fax sent you don't have these answers directly here you see what what is the human life expectancy who was president what party did he belong to who was the president of united states before george w bush and you see you don't see this what was the first fax sent and you see with this it just got this answer directly this answer so what i want to say is it's good it's really really good a fantastic step in the in the direction of ai and uh, i really hope this will improve a lot and um, i i really wish uh, it will do a lot of wonders you see improve english poor english thank you for picking me as your designer i would appreciate it corrected english thank you for picking me as your designer i appreciate it yeah so yeah yeah it, it is trained it is trained uh, over a lot of models so uh, this is this can really do wonders and uh, let's see other people what they are saying another quick gpt3 demo this one generates regex code i hated regex when i took some uh, coding classes while uh, a while back what's impressive though is uh, it is that doesn't take long to do this i'm not an engineer so i can't critic that so um, i i agree with these things because as a developer also we don't really want to do all the, these jobs but i also saw uh, some tweets uh, regarding this saying uh, that this will uh, take over the the developer's job let's say because it was generating a nice uh, front end uh, page if you just say uh, hey gpt3 generate me a button with uh, this background and with this text and it will generate a page for you but then the problem here is the the business uh, people they are never clear in their mind what they want in real life what happens is they keep telling you oh they keep telling you ah no i didn't want it like this i want it oh can you please change this thing in that can you please do that can you please do that so the real business people they are never clear in their thoughts in their mind they are never clear they they always keep changing requirements and that's where the problem is and that's the problem with gpt3 for now maybe in future if it improves then that, that's really fantastic of course uh, it will uh, really revolutionize the uh, the developing community developer community because uh, then it will also be able to do some wonders <laughs> but i still um, i still uh, don't agree with the fact that it will take over it's it's the same thing as uh, as uh, robots taking over the jobs of uh, specialists let's say you have a uh, text advice you have a text you are a text advisor and um, people were saying okay in 2020 robots will take uh, take over or ai and machine learning will take over um, text advisors job but it's not true 
we are still in 2020 and nothing is uh, happening we are still using tax advisors because they are special in their field they have that specialty and uh, the one thing which is uh, really difficult to teach machine is your common sense and that common sense is really difficult or, or impossible almost impossible I, I i don't know i never i have never done it so i cannot say it's impossible but or, almost impossible so that's the thing missing is still in these things gpt3 obsession python reign supreme and more in this week's top ai news that's true ai and python will gain uh, more uh, more in this uh, with this gpt3 things best tech i have seen in my life i i agree with it because i really really um, want to see ai going and this is the first step i see uh, in a lot of years because before this people were just using ai machine learning as buzzword so i didn't really like that thing complete marketing plan with only two sentences of input bold sentence ai marketing yeah i agree that's that's perfect but can you can you rely on it because it will help you though so you got um like a so he, he just wrote uh, two lines of uh, of uh, his marketing strategy his marketing plan and then he got like let's say two three pages but then can you rely on it maybe not but it's it's really good that you get an idea and then later on you can just uh, play with it and um, yeah you see so i agree i agree it, it can do wonders but it's still okay episode we we chat about uh, gpt3 and how in sarah chips words ai is reaching the level of college uh, set for more in their first internship that's true <laughs> i agree with it this was uh, someone's um, So you see, it can really, really do wonders. English to regex generator. Well, there, there is still a lot you can do with the GPT-3. This is just the beginning. Uh, there will be a lot of, lot of good uh, use cases. So I really hope uh, people will really, really use it in good direction and uh, people will really, really benefit from it. But as a, um, as a uh, uh, closing uh, sentence for my video, I just want to say GPT-3 is a good step, but it cannot take over the developer's job. So that's one thing. Second thing is if with the help of developers, it can really achieve good heights because um, if the developers will start using it in their use cases, let's say business start using it for their use cases, then it's going to touch big, big, big heights. So I just yeah. If Trump was a programmer in the input box and it will automatically complete the story for you until a certain limit of of course so you see it's really really good for these type of things programmers GPT-3 want to steal your skilled jobs I, I agree with this guy who wrote this since the 2020 start and uh, start of 2020 there has been a pretty common notion that the future of coding is no code in fact, there is a big looming fear that AI would take over humans and their jobs someday. And and I don't agree with it because AI for developers, you know, it's uh, AI for normal people as well. But it's, it is for with the help of developer, it will um, 
cherries that along with current rapid emergence of gpt3 has caused a stir in the developers community with some thinking that no code era of programming has finally arrived while ai could take over most of the programming jobs in a decade from today the current open ai gpt3 model despite its magnanimity is still far from general human intelligence and uh, it's not only general human intelligence but also um in real life uh, the business requirements are never clear in the beginning so you don't know in the beginning that oh i want this text as uh, my front end and this button with this color and and that's all i want later on business guy will say oh sorry but can you please make it a bit lighter in the background can you please make it like this like that there? there are so many things come up during the development so so development or the project product life cycle is never um never like a, like a simple uh 0101 binary thing it's always uh, changing always improving you never end up so what business uh, requirements are and what is the final product you will see that if you are a developer you will see that the final product is never never the same as we started so along the way it improves or it uh, changes so programming programming is a mix of art and science science and problem solving quite some deeper thinking than merely generating code in visual layout moreover comprehending complex uh, requirements to write production level code isn't something ai is ready to do yet in a full proof way so this is what i was trying to say since uh, long <laughs> but uh, thank you for simplifying it so um in in general uh, in general i would like to say that ai has done something really good for the first time i am really impressed and i really like it because till now it was only 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 buzzword so thank you for watching and please like share and subscribe and let me know in the comment section what do you feel about this video what do you feel about gpt3 and 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 then give me your feedback about gpt3 what did you do what have you done what do you want to do with it so till then take care bye thanks have a nice day